Today, we're showing you how to do looping on a CMM. It's gonna help you save time because you can check multiple parts. And it's gonna make sure your parts are right, that you got quality results. Let's get started. Right here, we've got a looping program. I've set it up to loop four times and we're throwing away that first result. Why do we throw it away? It's a practice lap. The machine's warming up. We wanna make sure that it's getting good results. So the first time around, which it's in the middle of right now, we're gonna take that result and just throw it out. Then we're gonna run it three more times. We're gonna get all the results on here. We're gonna make sure the machine is repeating the same check over and over and that the results are good. The benefit to checking the same part over and over is that you know your results are repeatable. If you check it once, you might just be getting lucky. But if you check it numerous times and compare those results to each other, then you know it's a good part. No question about it. All right, scan's complete. Now we get the results. Just want to make sure each time it measured it that the results it got are within a couple tenths of each other. Then we know we're getting good results and we're running good parts. All right, we measured three thou and three tenths here, two and two, two thou and two tenths, two thou and two tenths. That's pretty repeatable. To insert a loop into your program, it's real easy to do. You put your cursor at the beginning of whatever you want to loop. You go up to insert, flow control command, and looping. It gives you a little code. You type in there how many times you want to loop, wherever you want to end the loop, type in end loop. And that's it, it's that easy. Looping can also be used to check multiple part sets at one time, which saves you time. Now we only have one fixture here right now, but if we had multiple fixtures, we could set them all up on the table and use the offset feature in PC Demus. You can set one inch, two inches, however many inches you want, display them on the table like that and check them all at one time and the program knows to go in between each one of those parts and give you multiple results. So that's looping. If you got that one customer that's always got those really tight tolerances, add looping to your program. It's gonna give you good results. It's gonna make sure your results are right. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video. We got lots more. And you know, every, every great YouTuber, they have an iconic sign off line. Let's try to see who breaks first. Is it gonna be me or you? Is it gonna be me or you? <laughs>